every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruta and welcome to the 300th day of my challenge. My god, what a number! Who could have believed? Where I'm gonna try Laura's butternut squash and chicken bake. I have all the ingredients ready already and I honestly cannot wait for dinner. This I feel like will be one of those really cool recipes where you have almost nothing to do. You just put everything tossed together and just let the oven do the job. So if you're curious to see how it goes trying this recipe out for the very first time, then keep on watching. We're gonna need 700 grams of chicken legs, one large butternut squash peeled and cut into large chunks, eight cloves of garlic not peeled, three tablespoons of olive oil, two teaspoons of dried thyme leaves, two grams of dried sage leaves chopped, a pinch of hot pepper flakes and salt and pepper. was turn on my oven to preheat to 230 degrees and I have a feeling that I'll just speak once and I'll tell everything that needs to be done which is almost nothing so everything you just saw will go into a large baking dish so that's the butternut squash chicken garlic I'm gonna drizzle everything with olive oil sprinkle sage thyme red pepper flakes season with salt and pepper and then using cook's best tools aka my hands I'm gonna toss everything together so that everything is coated really nicely and then once the oven is preheated I'm gonna put it into the oven for 45 minutes or until everything looks really nice and golden brown. Oh my goodness, I waited so little, but this <laughs> smells so amazing. I will slowly turn into Laura, I think, because I seriously cannot wait. Okay, first, let's try the butternut squash, shall we? Which is the most roasted piece, oh my god. Okay, this one. It will get so hot. Oh! Oh wow, I have to be honest, this is way better than I expected. I thought that I, I thought that I will be a bit disappointed because it's not potatoes. I mean, I am a Lithuanian, so I will choose potatoes over anything every single time. But this, this is actually really, really good. The butternut squash absorbed the taste and flavor of the chicken and all the spices and it's like, really? Wait, I want another piece. It sort of tastes like chicken. I don't know, in a weird way, it, it tastes good. <laughs> oh my god. It's like not mushy or anything. Okay, okay. How to taste chicken? I will burn myself today. I can, oh my God, if you could only see, this is the juiciest and <laughs> steaming piece of chicken. Oh. Okay, give me a sec. It needs a bit salt. I cannot find I know there is, but because I just moved to Lithuania, I cannot find fine, fine salt. So the one I have is a little bit more coarse than I, what I was using in Turkey and Iran. So I'm a bit afraid to oversalt things and I put less. Nonetheless, it's all good. Oh my God, I love such kinds of dishes. Okay, I'll be a trooper and I'll hold it for a second for you because this literally takes minutes to make. 
just calm down, you know, 45 minutes for baking. Oh, and by the way, uh, you saw the last 10, not the last 10 minutes, after 45 minutes, I put the chicken under the broiler for 10 more minutes so that it would, you know, char a little bit more. I feel like I could have maybe put even one level up, but I felt like <laughs> it's too close. Well, anyways, this is a good option on work day, like, what, how, do, how do you call it? <laughs> weekday, weekday, <laughs> weekday dinner, because it is, well, it's not super quick, but it's really, really easy. So when you just come home, put it into the oven, because the preparation takes no time at all. Okay, this is heavy. And you have an awesome, awesome dinner. I dare you to try first the butternut squash and if you don't like it then go back to the all wonderful <laughs> potato but actually this is quite a nice you know change up i cannot believe i'm saying this but it's not that bad i mean not that bad as a rock thing <laughs> it's good i just you know i wish there were some potatoes but this is actually really really nice so wait let me Pick it up one more time so that you can compare with the Laura's version there. Looks almost identical. Hers is a little bit more golden brown, but hey, once I reheat this tomorrow, it will look exactly the same. If you want to watch her video, the link is there. Is it there? I think it's there. If you want the written recipe, Check the description box down below. You will find it in both American and the metric systems, of course, because I am converting every single recipe try into the metric system so I could understand and anyone who uses it <laughs> could understand as well. And you guys, this is the 300th recipe I've tried. It means that on Monday, someone should wait for a recipe review because I actually tried 30 new recipes and every time I reach that milestone, I make a recipe review video, which I call best of the best. And I just pick out the recipes. All Laura's food is wonderful, but I pick out the recipes which stood out the most from those last 31. So keep an eye for that. And you know what? I'm gonna go and have some private time with my chicken. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let me know, would you try something like this? Oh, and be sure to add that garlic. I won't try it now. Or should I? Because it's so good. Oh my God. This becomes like a candy. I kid you not. Because I tried this recipe, I put only like eight cloves. I would put like two heads of garlic because these we fight with my husband for. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll go and have some time with my dinner and I'll see you soon. Bye.